Greetings. I just want to encourage you to go to bed night after night feeling successful. Feeling that you have accomplished all that you have desired in this world. And just by having that feeling of accomplishment and you believe that it is true, you can definitely experience it in this waking three-dimensional physical world. Now, the reason for that is that as you are about to go to bed, you are changing dimension. And because your spirit having a human experience, you will definitely tap into the world of spirit. And in the world of spirit, all things are possible to you. And that is why you're told in the Bible that with God, all things are possible. But most people do not realize that God is their true self, their higher self, their innermost being. Because God and man are one, for God and man is man's imagination, man's awareness of being. So you are tapping in to your God power as you are about to go to sleep. And in Job chapter 33, verses 14 and 16, it gives you that clue when it says that your instruction is sealed when you slumber upon the bed. And so many people, they go to bed in their anger in their shame, their guilt, their condemnation, and everything that is negative and depressing. They fall asleep night after night in that kind of mindset. And so they awake in that kind of mindset and they continue the rest of the day in that kind of mindset because they fail to realize how you go to bed and how you awake is what is shaping your life. So I'm saying to you, if you want to live a successful life, you want to live a life of a winner, all you have to do is be disciplined enough to monitor yourself night after night and fall asleep with your positive and optimistic intention. And the universe will show you the way to go about getting those things that you so desire in this life. It is so easy and so simple that most people cannot comprehend it because they are still trapped in their ego self. And the ego means to... Put God on the outside or to edge God out. You see, many people put God on the outside. Yet, the very Bible that they read tells you that the kingdom of God is within you. And not to let any man say to you, lo here or lo there. You see, everything is within you. Everything is in your consciousness. For you cannot say God or Jesus or Bible or anything if you do not have life. <laughs> and the reason for that is that the life in you is your real self that is god and god wants to live the life of fulfillment and the life of accomplishment through you because god wants to have this human experience in a body so you have a physical self and a spiritual self your spiritual self is your inner self. Your physical self is your outer self. So you have to learn to understand that and embrace both the physical world and the spiritual world. But you're tapping into the spiritual world as you're about to go to bed in that drowsy, sleepy state. That's why the Bible tells you that you must never let the sun go down on your rot. Your negative thinking, your negative mindset. Never go to bed being angry. Never go to bed in regret. Never go to bed feeling sad. Never go to bed just in an argumentative mindset. You just finished arguing with your, your husband, your wife, your spouse or whoever and you go fall asleep. In that kind of mindset, you're going to continue as you're awake. And so many people live their life and keep repeating the same thing over and over and over and over because they've been shaped in a paradigm. And you need a paradigm shape to get out of that kind of a mindset. So my brother, my sisters, all the battles that you will ever win in life, you must be won from within. Everything is mental. Everything is psychological. Everything was forced a thought. It was forced an idea. It was forced imagine. Every word and every action is just the expression of a thought. So take responsibility for your thoughts and your actions and realize that it is your own thought that is creating your reality and your personality. For as a man thinketh in his heart or his subconscious mind, 
so is he. So you are responsible for everything in your life. Stop looking on the outside for a savior. The savior is right within you. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I just want to thank you very much. And this is just a reminder to help you to go to sleep being more positive and more optimistic and more optimistic and to be more responsible for your life. So let me say if this is the very first time that you listen to me, what I'm saying, if it makes sense to you, if it really resonates with you and you haven't subscribed already, I am definitely encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, uh, to share this video. Also, I definitely encourage you to get my latest book. It's called Spiritual Recipe for Better Living and get one for yourself, one for a family member and one for some religious person who believe, still believe that the Bible is literal and secular history. Maybe they might read it and realize that it all addresses the human psyche. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram and you like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Mad Guru. And if you'd like to have a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can reach out to me by way of email. And once we come to a decision, we can definitely have a great time together. However, if you like to be a part of my Patreon community, you're most welcome. And I have a course there that is called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously. And along with that is a bonus course on self-concept. So if you feel strongly led to listen to those videos, I'll definitely encourage you to do so. But just before I leave you, I just want to say to you that if you feel strongly led to support this work because it's highly beneficial to you, I just want to remind you that we have a PayPal and the link is always down below. So that being said, my brothers and my sisters, I just want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.